Help should be on the way soon for the businesses and workers who are struggling the most during the COVID-19 lockdown and shutdown. Lawmakers have a deal. They just need to vote on it. Esme Murphy's live at the state capitol tonight. So, Esme, what's the latest there? Well, Frank, I can tell you right now the House is in recess. The Senate is actually debating this bill right now on their Senate floor. This bill is expected to pass sometime tonight. Here are some of the details of that $216 million bailout. First, $90 million will be in direct grants to restaurants, bars, or bowling alleys whose business is down 30% or more. The grants will range from $10,000 to $45,000, depending on the restaurant size. Another $112 million will go to Minnesota counties to award grants to businesses who are down less than 30 percent. And 14 million will be going to theaters and convention centers with grants starting at 15,000 for the first screen and up to $150,000 for the, uh, the entire theater. And while this relief package is focusing on the economic toll of COVID, it's also a personal one here at the legislature. Majority Leader Paul Gazelka, who himself has just recovered from COVID, just lost his mother-in-law. We know that it's very serious. In, in fact, on a personal level, uh, my mother-in-law in the memory care unit that she was in ended up getting COVID-19 and, and she's in heaven. And my father-in-law right now uh, is, has COVID. So uh, it, it, we should pay attention to that. Senator Gazelka, like so many Minnesotans, suffering personal losses because of this terrible virus. Now, this relief bill is expected to pass tonight. It also includes a 13-week extension of unemployment benefits. Some 120,000 Minnesotans are expected to have their unemployment benefits run out right around Christmas. And this would be an extension from about Christmas time through April. So obviously badly needed, Frank, and we will keep you posted on how it goes tonight. Yeah, we'll keep updated on all our social sites as well. Uh, thank you, Esme.